Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Plays EU4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with Great Britain, or I guess the Anglo-French Empire now, because uh, <laughs> we randomly inherited France last time. Um, yeah, so last time was a bit of a disaster, I've had a bit of time to think about it. Europe, to be fair, not too bad. I probably didn't take it as seriously as I should have done, but we're going to be fine. Kill were, yeah. I mean, basically, I shouldn't have underestimated them in the first place, and then the three mercenary armies I didn't want to use, I should have either used them at the beginning or stuck to my guns and not used them. The other thing I could have done, after things went wrong here, Instead of trying to land those mercenary armies on their capital, I think what I was hoping to do was try and get all three of them, take the capital, which would hopefully have a castle, and then I was hoping those three mercenary armies, plus the other one I had left over, other two, would be powerful enough to sort of hold it. But what I should have done instead is landed in our allied nation, the Vedal, and uh, used them as a staging ground so we've lost them now but we could probably have moved north into the Mamluks maybe persuaded them to make peace and then turn around so yeah apparently I was having a bad day but there we go so now it's effectively become one big war we're only fighting in Europe Yeah, they want us to give a load of stuff. No thanks. So we're going to finish Europe and then turn around and finish Kilwa. Okay, so. Let's take these mercenary armies down there. Oh, grief. Computer's struggling already. Alright, we've got a French army doing a siege, that's good. Looks like we're already kind of turning things around a bit. Right, let's see. So what I was going to say was... Um, inheriting the throne of France is actually really good. Because... Junior partners, I don't think contribute that much. They contribute their armies, which to me has always been enough. But getting the land ourselves means that we get all the manpower, all the riches, everything really. So it's actually much better. And I was part way through saying near the end last time when I got distracted that when you have a junior partner, you do have the option to integrate them. Uh, we can't do it right now because we're at war. You need high relations. For a, f a country the size of Austria or France, it's incredibly expensive. I think in terms of diplomatic power, it would take well over half a century. I've actually done it before with France. And there's a very high chance they'll rebel because they won't really like it. So I eventually concluded after doing it once that it just was not worth it, which is why I'd never really discussed it. So having that happen without any cost to us was just brilliant. So even though in some ways I'm sorry to lose the vassal because it means I'm going to have to actually do more work myself, the amount of power we now have to do that work has immensely increased. Take one of these armies and see if I can do something about that army down there. So it is actually an enormous boost. I'm hoping it'll mean that our manpower will recover a lot faster in the future. So, yeah, what else were we going to do? We were going to check on nations we could persuade to pull out. So it's mostly Frisia, which I'm not as keen to get to pull out because actually I wouldn't mind taking some of their land. 
uh, build a great palace well given it only costs money and we have more money than we know what to do with I would say yes let's do that I would love to get the Mamluks to pull out but because they're clearly winning I'm not sure yeah I don't think they'll be that keen we'll probably have to start making inroads into them oh this is good Looks like... Alright, they've attacked Cut Tuscany. Interesting. Peace offer from Aragon. Aragon's willing to cede a couple of things to us. Okay, that's really good, but I think we can do better. Uh, right, so let's make some more claims on Tuscany. <laughs> If Aragon does take Tuscany, then we'll have those claims and can use them on Aragon. But yeah, that's really good. So it looks like we could probably get Aragon to pull out any time because the Commonwealth... Well, I don't know. It looks like they've attacked Tuscany, who has the Commonwealth as an ally, which was asking for trouble. I, mean, I tend to think twice about taking the Commonwealth on. Right, so that's our castle occupied by Burgundy, so let's take that back. Definitely no harm in freeing up some of our castles. This is actually looking a lot better. So hopefully we can attack the Mamluks. So that's a better way of doing it. We'll we'll head into the Mamluks. We will get them to pull out because we don't want anything from them. And from then on, Kilwa should be a lot more defeatable, I think. Okay, brilliant. That sounds like a plan. Rulers are lowering in quality all the time. But never mind. We were quite lucky for a while there. Uh, I think I'm going to want throughout the nation. Ooh, gain stability. That's good. Australian revolutionaries. All right, so that's not entirely a bad thing because uh, they'll be causing problems to the invaders. Right, the Mamluks are attacking Australia. It's interesting. Which is a good idea. Problem is, if we don't. Do it, we're just going to end up in more trouble. Right, well, I'm going to send our ships up anyway because we do have some heavy ships and it looks like the Australian Navy, I'm guessing that's what this is, is about to be attacked. So we possibly can't do much to help, but at least we can do that. I suppose thinking about it, we could have uh, tried to land some troops over here as well. I doubt we have enough to do much about them. Let's 
still at least ground among the UK and Navy, then it'll reduce their ability to attack. Okay, brilliant. What else? Not much, actually. All of our armies are busy seizing castles. So until one of them falls, we're probably not going to be doing much. Ah, there we go. so we might be in trouble. What we could really do with doing is forcing the Mamluks to pull out. So, with that in mind... these Burgundian armies but I'm actually wondering whether we can get our armies into the Mamluks before making peace of Aragon. Possibly. Just wondering how easily we'll be, we'll be able to access them. Okay, lost some claims. They're a huge surprise there. I'll just land you in Corsica. In case I need some help moving things across, I'm just wondering how much... How big an army do we need for the Mamluks? Okay, no bigger than 150. <laughs> Oh, peace offer. White peace from the Mammoths. Yes, please. Very much yes, please. That is brilliant. Okay, so hopefully that will help Australia a lot. Okay, there's still a Kilwin army for them to deal with. small though it is around. Let me give Australia a load of money. Right, see how that goes. Right, so we don't need to attack the Mamluks now, which is fine. Ooh, that's annoying. <laughs> I think Tuscany might be about to get a whole lot bigger. Uh, right, so, Aragon. <laughs> Maybe I should seriously think about this. Not that interested in most of those things, I have to say. Nope, not willing to do that. Okay, how about this one? No. So we can't get much out of them, actually, can we? Maybe it's not worth it yet. Can at least reduce their holdings in Austria. How about you? Alright, was Frisia owned by the Mamluks? 
Okay, so Congo. Any interest in pulling out from Congo? Not yet. Okay, that's fine. See, the only problem with the mammals going is that we will have more issues getting there, but we can possibly still land troops in Adel. Or oh, here, actually, come to and give it. Yeah, because that would allow us to attack the Congo. Okay. Cool. Where'd that army go? an army. That's rarely a good thing. Oh right, it went where I sent it. Okay, not so lost then. It's helping with this siege. Ooh. Okay. Creative. Oh, that's Congo. Brilliant. Right, so the war is coming here. Which is not a bad thing, in fact. So we can start to make some inroads on it. This guy's really able to win. Very not keen to abandon that siege. Yeah, apparently we actually can win. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Right, okay. So now if you're only going to lose that one as well. So this is quite similar to the heretic thing, only in this case it's heathens, so from our point of view that would be other versions of Christianity. Okay, so this really has become just one big war, apparently. Let's go down here. Is this a siege? No, it isn't. Okay, right, so we've already got these back, which is good. What I'm thinking is, let's not use those, but let's get any other mercenary companies we can get.
guess I'll just park you on a castle for now. Partially gambling on... No thanks. The idea that our manpower will probably recover faster. Ooh, brilliant. Especially the force limits contribution. I'm fairly sure I have a massive mercenary army gathering around there. Probably not the best time for an uprising, guys. Does this siege seriously just finish the second they needed to move their army? That seems unfortunate. Okay, so I think we're going to lose this, but hopefully it will at least damage their manpower. Well, it's not quite as open and shut as I had thought. Still gonna lose. Yeah, we're definitely losing. Actually, I think it's just a random piece of land that we happen not to have uh, taken back. Okay. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. So it's good that Austria are in Italy. I was vaguely considering going there. Let's move you again. doing something. Alright, oh, Tuscany. Pulse warfare, are we currently about to fight? Well, it's possible. <laughs> Just wondering if we couldn't afford to risk uh, upgrading our soldiers. Oh, let's go Napoleonic. We are partially French after all. So that's vastly reduced our morale. Is risky. But it should start to recover. 
Oh yeah, it's recovering already, so hopefully we're fine. Okay, not so bad. Right, well, I'm fed up of losing battles. Let's just get all these armies into one enormous army. Um, oh, that's good. Is this a castle? Nope. is that it's just extremely stubborn and then let's see if we can wipe some of these armies out British peasants have taken the Gold Coast that's never a bad thing well actually it's usually a bad thing but not right now because it's not under our control Hopefully any armies we do defeat will be forced to run quite a long way. really like going on to an enemy occupied castle at this point but I don't think we have much choice and I don't think there are any armies powerful enough to take us down now just got the usual disadvantage that obviously we're taking damage because we can't forage enough and we can only be in one place at once oh brilliant Ability. Definitely needed more loyalty. Congo is getting fed up. Australia Revolutionaries. Okay. I'm not sure there are any mercenary armies we can get up here, are they? Ooh. There are. Okay, just the one. But still. Might help. Hang on. Nope. You, I want. This army. We need to watch these revolutionaries as well. <laughs> Could end up with far bigger problems. Right, so there's a decent sized Australian army here. So if we attach our army to them, simply because I probably don't have a lot of um, attention to spare for Australia right now. So this is the opposite of the other thing you could do where you can allow people to attach to your army. In this case, I'm going to attach to them, so they will now be in control of both of our armies, and it just gives them a bit more power to work with. And if I can get the mercenary army to do the same, maybe we can turn the tables on Kilwa. 
While we are at it, let's see if Congo might be willing to do a white piece. They are. Okay, that's good. That should vastly reduce Kilwood's resources. Apparently Greece has risen up and has no army whatsoever. So I'm just going to declare war on them because why not at this stage? Things are just that insane. Hopefully we can vassalize them. Okay, but Aragon is definitely starting to lose, which is brilliant. Ooh, where's our navy? This seems like something we can help with. Okay. Well, not help with, but at least follow up on. like it. Right, let's land because we need some repairs after that. Okay, so we've got British peasants uprising in Africa. You guys have very low morale, that's fine. Bring our ships around. Okay, you Pope. Right, let's declare a holy war this time and put someone into becoming the next Pope. I'm not really sure which war is being considered holy, or if this is just going to carry on until all the wars are over with. Which would be nice, but it boosts manpower. And at least these are all wars we're in control of now, which is why I was avoiding it before. I think we may be about to regret that move. Unless our ships are just a lot better, which is possible. We do have heavy ships. Actually we do seem to be doing reasonably well. Right. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna regret it. Okay, so these immersers, can I attach these as well? So I think I basically just handed Australia a very big army. So whether they actually do anything with it, but it should at least prevent Kilgore from just stomping on them. And it means I can turn my attention back to Europe. All right. The Aragonese Navy seems to have gone somewhere, not sure where. Looks like we're mostly repaired now, so if we take off and also start harrying coasts and things, blockading. Oh, they're there. Right, in that case, we'll take off and stop them from taking off. Quarantine, always quarantine, right? Yep. 
Not sure why they're not always visible, but that should keep them in port and free up the Austrian Navy to do whatever they want to do. Which is good. Okay. What's next? Well, next is I need a siege to finish. Peace off from Hauser. Yes, please. Uh, high official. Highlander official, sorry. Um, I think we can probably afford to lose some of the legitimacy. We're fine. Okay, once again, the nobles are the least loyal. Fair poorly against Ming in a war. I mean, I'm totally up for that, but this probably isn't the time. Commercial presence of the Caribbean trade node. To be honest, I'm inclined to agree with them. That probably would vastly increase our funds. Uh, okay, let's go with the burgers. And we're just going to send ridiculous amounts of trade ships to the Caribbean. So, light ship is great frigate. And for some reason... Oh, we've got no sailors. Okay. Of course. All those naval battles. Never mind. We'll get on that as soon as we can. Surely we've already done a tariff on the 13 colonies. 13 colonies, 20, yes we have, so better leave it be. That's fine. Come on, castle, fall. I'm going to lower taxes. Because we don't really need taxes that much. Thank you! Okay, pause because I can't seem to press a button right now. Right, let's head here to the castle that Kilwer is currently sieging. Unsuccessfully by the look of it. Brilliant, we've still got this uh, negative spin on chocolate option. is good. This should give us another victory against Kilwa to swing the war score in our favour. Right, let's make the ability happier. Excellent, right. start taking new castles rather than freeing up old ones now. We are very ahead in the European war. So apparently we can get three provinces. Eh, maybe. Not in a huge hurry to be fair. Portuguese things. Just in case. <laughs> hmm. 
No uh, West African mercenaries I could hire, are they? I think I've only tried South Africa so far. Oh! There are! Only one? Oh, hang on. Just had another one there. Another one. Okay, free mercenary armies. Right, that should deal with the peasants. Hopefully, free up all of this land, and we may be able to use them against Kilwa. Or India, or anyone, at some point. I feel we're so low on our force limit that we should be able to have an almost infinite number of mercenaries right now. Well, not infinite, but quite a lot at least. Okay, brilliant. Let's keep this going. So I'm hoping we can vassalise Greece. I probably already said that. So I'd like to go in for them sooner rather than later in some ways. I'm assuming those mercenaries I've hired will recover their morale on the castle and the peasants will eventually attack the castle and the mercenaries should defeat them. So we can check on them later if nothing happens but there's a fairly good chance we just get a report saying we've won the battle. Seriously feeling like we need to split these forces up a little. Yeah, I think that's our own army. mercenaries as well. But the, the massive armies Kilwa was fielding seem to have gone. So probably don't need to be quite as paranoid about keeping our troops together. We can probably afford to have two armies again. So let's see if we can track down this Aragonese army. There we go. So the peasants have been defeated, so let's take our land back. Ooh. Mombasa. Oh, right. Excellent. Sure. So that completely isolates Kilwa. Greece, of course, are already isolated and. Oh, it's those revolutionaries again. Awesome. Okay. I suppose we'll have to deal with them. At some point. Right. Oh, possibly not. In the meantime. Take that castle back. If we can. Okay. Everyone's infiltrated our administration. It's going to tell them anything they want to hear. Good. Okay, benevolence, improve relations. Great. That's good. <laughs> benevolence, just while we're currently attacking the entire world. Yeah, very benevolent. Still not complaining. Okay. 
probably a bit late for it now. Could we? I don't know if we can take them down with this army. Plus this is our own army, so they might actually get bigger with time. You never know. And if they attack us on the castle, at least we'll have a bit of an advantage. Okay, come on, sieges. See what's been going on. Right. The new revolutionaries. We've reoccupied our areas. Looks like Kill was moving into Africa though. So we may want to bring our forces together. In case they're about to step over into West Africa, which I think they are. On the plus side, the fact that they can do that means that we're probably able to go the other way. So that's good. Ooh, English West Indies. And these sieges are stubbornly refusing to end. Very annoying. And we're still keeping them penned in. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. See if we can somehow catch this army. Uh, weeping for the men. Let's pay some money. Try to help. Okay, this looks good. If we can get there in time, we can hopefully block them off. And one of the sieges finally finished. Way. Not much we can do to catch them. Let's head in and take the castle. What's happened here? Call for. Oh, good grief, has someone surrendered? I don't think they've surrendered. I think we're just winning in a big way. Right. Okay. An admiral. Could be dangerous if it's the one that's keeping the Burgundian navy penned in. Come on, army. There we go. And it's still not enough. That's a bit harsh. Oh well. Okay. Never mind. Oh, where's the manpower down? Right, okay. We got. Well, in theory, these sieges should be on the way. It's maybe a, a little reluctant to um, end the conflict. What are you offering? Aragon will give us stuff, Burgundy will give us stuff, Liege will give us stuff. Doesn't seem like that much to me. Still,
<laughs> Just wondering how far we can push this. Let's leave it there. It's too much, but it's not as much as it could have uh, demanded. Okay, so that's a European war over. Obviously got overextension now. But we've got rid of that thing where... Yes, of course they have. Where we were getting really high war exhaustion. Oh, a military coalition. Never seen one of those before. Right, I don't think this army is being treated as being in exile. And plus, moving through our, um, Austrian lands should help anyway. Hang on, I'm going to just declare war, but I might want to enforce peace. There we go. We are now at war with Portugal. I wanted to do that quickly because... Fine. Sheesh. I wanted to do that quickly because I was worried that Portugal would join in the coalition. And I wasn't sure what would happen if uh, I declared war. Right, so we're hopefully not going to have to do anything in the Americas now. I think our colonies should be able to handle it as long as we can handle Portugal. This big army had better head over to deal with Portugal now. Is interesting. Was it I said about being at war until the end of the game? <sighs> right. Okay. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, right, I think I might need to stop there. messages are flying thick and fast right brilliant so <laughs> so things are looking a bit better despite the fact that it feels like it's absolute chaos we've effectively won the European war I feel like maybe I didn't get as much from Aragon as I would have liked but it was enough I think we took four provinces we took Liege and we took quite a few from Burgundy, more than we should have done, which is what sparked whichever coalition number this is. It probably took longer than I'd expected for something to kick off in the Americas, so now we're going to find out if we really can win just by letting our colonies handle it. So, going to be interesting, reasonably confident. And of course, we're going to take steps to attack Portugal on the mainland. And presumably that includes Castile as well. It does. Cool. So once we have a powerful enough army. In the meantime, we want to try to vassalize Greece. So we'll leave this army here. Probably split them up and see if we can uh, get Greece to a point where they're willing to be vassalized. As quickly as possible. And then we can send the rest of this army to deal with... Portugal and then we need to finally deal with Kilwa. So yeah. Still quite a bit to do. But we'll see. We're obviously not trying to do a massive win over Portugal this time. This is more sort of a test case. If we can take a few bits of land that'd be great, but it's more just being sure that we can 
leave the Americas mostly to their own devices. So we shouldn't need to send any armies over there now, which was the whole point of the fight for the Americas. Well, we'll see. We're obviously still outnumbered in the south, but it's the overall war. Whenever we step in, which is why we did step in, because left to their own devices, Argentina would quite possibly have lost. Actually, well, I remember. Let's dump some money into the southern nations. It's possible that we could have just dumped money into Argentine and uh, that would have been enough, but... That isn't really the idea. Attack on one is attack on all. So any time one of Portugal's nations... Oh, we're out of diplomats. Okay, we'll finish that off next time. Any time one of Portugal's nations decides to attack one of our nations, we're going to join in, everyone's going to join in, Portugal is going to get stomped on. Until they learn or they have no land left. Yeah, interesting. So Aragon has seriously lost out here in some ways. I mean, they're still a force to be reckoned with, but yeah, they attacked Tuscany, who had the Commonwealth, <laughs> around the same, same time we attacked them. Or their ally, rather. Commonwealth stomped on them, so Tuscany has become much bigger now. Might even be worth allying, actually. Hmm. Even if we do have, like, loads of claims on them. And I'm assuming it was part of the same settlement, or maybe an uprising because of all the wars that Greece appeared. So... They lost quite a bit of land there. And of course they lost a bit to us. So yeah, a bit happier with that one than last time anyway. Uh, yeah, seriously uh, wondering whether we'll ever actually get to attacking Bengal. But I suppose at least it will give Vijayanagar a time for their truce to run out. And our truce as well, presumably. So, and it's kind of good we ended the European War because it gives us time to call these lands while we're still fighting everyone else maybe a bit of time for the coalition to end assuming no one attacks us we'll see we'll need to keep an eye on burgundy because they might turn revolutionary actually that's a point how's australia doing haven't used our armies for anything yet oh well to be fair the Kilwa army is rather larger than the, even the combined one so Certainly see what Let's move our army. Our navy, sorry. Here, just to help a little. Might as well have them out there. Okay, right. So not too bad. And who knows, we might even get some land from Castile and Portugal as a result of their colony kicking off. But yeah, high hopes for Greece. Really hoping we're allowed to vassalize them even though they're quite big. But we'll see. See what we can do. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will uh, see you next time.